Hey guys, what's up with your screwed hit? Today I'll be bringing you guys a very quick video. In this video, we'll be going over PG Sharp version 1.11.11 uh, or 0.11. And this is the 7th of February, and of course, we'll be making our February update to PG Sharp. I'll be going over the features for PG Sharp, uh, and then at the end of the video, I'll be giving I'll be giving my opinion as to why you should get PG Sharp um, if you have or not already. I'll be going over the 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 uh, features that it has as well as the the free version that it has. So first of all, this is the premium version of PG Sharp. Obviously, some of these features require you to get premium before you can actually uh, use these features. Uh, some of them include like uh, the feeds, which we will be talking about. So first of all, let's go through some of the UI. Now, as you can see, top left corner, there's a UI for there's the map, there's the speed, auto walk, feeds, favorites, teleport, and settings. And then the top right, there's obviously a joystick that you can move around. And then the rest, of course, is just regular Pokemon. Now, this this one that I'm moving currently is is a radar. Essentially, if you can sp search for specific Pokemon uh, currently on your radar that are near you, so it's kind of useful, I guess. I mean, it, you're a spoofer anyway, so it doesn't really matter what's exactly close to you because you can kind of go wherever you want. But if you're on cooldown, it's useful to know because it lets you know what's spawning and it's more consistent, right? Uh, the second one that I'm moving right here is obviously is a quick feeds feature where. Uh, Essentially what happens is you can set your feed to whichever one you want. Currently it's set to 100 IVs. So what it does is every time you press one of these Pokemon, it'll teleport you to a 100 IV Roselia. Uh, this is a, it's a quick feature, right? So it's obviously, it's useful for people who are Shundo grinding. Very, very cool feature. Big ups to PG Sharp. All right, let's go over through the regular features. So obviously there's a map for, for, for this. Um, and the map feature, obviously you click on it, you get to allocate GPX files in the bottom right corner. You get to zoom in, zoom out, obviously. Uh, you get to search. You can search both for coordinates and places. So I could I could put coordinates here. I can copy paste them, or I can just go like Pier Thirty Nine, and I can just teleport straight there. Very very cool stuff. Obviously GPX routes. You click GPX, it will open up files, and uh, and you can do that. Let's go back. All right. So there's that. Uh, the next thing we have here is the speed feature. Now speed is obviously very useful if you want to walk around, right? Uh, the, the best the best setting for hatching eggs and getting candy from your buddy is 9.3 kilometers uh, per hour. If you wanna if you wanna move around with the joystick uh, just for you uh, just for just for enjoyment, I guess you can. The highest you can go to is 60 kilometers per hour. Um, but obviously you can't hatch eggs while doing this. If you want to move around, obviously you can just use the joystick. You can walk around like normal, you know, remind you of the good old days when you could uh, just joystick walk. Uh, next thing we have here is auto walk. Auto walk is probably my most used feature. You click the button, you get it auto generates a GPX route for you, which is essentially like a little route across the map. Um, and then as you see point of interest numbers, you can set it from one to 128. If you set it to 128, it'll, do, it'll go through 128 po points of interest or pokey stops on the map. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just 1 to 128. You set it one, so you input 1 to 128, boom, it's going to walk to 128 different pokey stops, as you can see on the map right now. And of course, you can set the speed. So if you want to walk, if you want to walk that route at 6 kilometers per hour, you can. If you want to walk at a 0 or 9.3 kilometers per hour, you can do that as well. Very, very cool feature. Next one we have is the feeds feature. Now, the feeds feature is one of the more used ones for uh, hardcore players. Feeds feature allows you to uh, search for Pokemon. It allows you to search for levels, um, specific Pokemon, as well as different IVs and the distances. Um, so if we, if you click on the top right, you click Addition. Uh, there's a new filter. You can set the filter from one to one to 35. Obviously, if you want 35 level Pokemon, you can just put it from 35 to 35. You can search for IVs. Um, if you press this, you can obviously you can set every single statistic. So attack, defense, uh, stamina. Very very cool. Um, and then you can set distance, so how far away the Pokemon will be from you. It's very important. This one, especially for uh, soft band timers, if you if you don't want to be soft band from a specific area, you can set it to like 10 kilometers, so you only have to wait like two, three minutes. Super cool. Priority, obviously, you can prioritize time distance. So since since the since the Pokemon appear on a list, you'll get the ones that appear for that priority sooner. Um, obviously, and you can search for Pokemon. You can search. You can select all. You can select shiny only. And then you can go through all the generations. You can also search for Pokemon, so you don't have to actually find them in the list. Super cool. Very user-friendly, actually. Um, and then, of course, you give it a name, save it, and boom, you can use it to search. Um, so so if, if I click this, actually, no, that's a terrible example. If I click the Shundo list, obviously, you can search for time, IV, CP, level, distance, attack, defense, stamina. And then you get all these different, all these different Pokemon. And all you got to do is click it. And you can teleport, walk, or copy the coordinates so you can send it to a friend, right? Fantastic. Very cool. 
Uh, moving on, we have the favorites feature. Favorites is very cool. Actually, they, they got rid of the hot, pla hot places one, which is unfortunate, but um, for this update, I guess, I don't know, maybe they'll bring it back. I hope they do, because it was very useful. Uh, essentially, it allows you to favorite coordinates. Um, so if you if you wanna if you wanna save coordinates for Zaragoza, Pier Thirty Nine, or specific places that you like going to, you can save them here, and then with one tap, you can simply teleport to them, right? So teleport, boom, and we're back where we started. Next one is the teleport feature. This is just for easy copy pasting. You don't have to open the map. You don't have to load it. Uh, it's it's just more UI for it's just more user interf more user friendly essentially. Uh, obviously, you can I think you can search for places here too. I'm not sure if this works for places. I don't know. Maybe it does. All right, let's go into settings because there's a few settings that we want to talk about. Some of them are very useful. So settings, um, we have obviously the speed up here. You can obviously set spoofing yes, no. Um, if you turn off spoofing, obviously all the all the UI will go away, and then you're just ba um, on base Pokemon Go. Very cool. If you obviously if you restart it or if you if you if you restart the application, it'll come back. Uh, next one is hide PG Sharp. So what you can do is you can actually just if you press it and then do this. And then three swipe, they'll come back. Super cool. Next one is inventory IV. Now this will this is essentially so when you look at your Pokemon in your inventory, it shows up having IV. Obviously, uh, I'll disable this other stuff later so you can see. But the IV is in the background, so you don't have to like you don't have to appraise them every time, which is kind of annoying. Next one, tap to walk. Uh, actually, no, that's not the next one. Encounter IV. So encounter IV is the so when you encounter Pokemon, uh, IV obviously comes up. The catch preview, very cool for quick catching. Uh, what it allows you to do is uh, every time, but like by the time the Pokeball reaches the Pokemon, you can know whether you caught it or whether it escaped or whether it escaped the Pokeball or fled, obviously. Next one, Enhance Throw. Very, very useful. This is probably the most used feature for everyone for PG Sharp. Uh, you can set so that your Enhance, so that your throw is always excellent, nice, great, or curveball. You can obviously set to set it to like great and excellent if you if you want to like spice up a bit, if you want, if you don't want Niantic to be as on your ass as they currently are. But uh, yeah, excellent curveball for that sweet, sweet XP. Next, you have a map. Um, I wouldn't disable that for obvious reasons. Next one we have is tap to walk or tap to teleport. Now, tap to teleport is very useful, actually. It's something I use a lot more often than I think about. But you can essentially just teleport wherever you want on the map. Oh, we're hashing an egg. Fantastic. Next on the list, we have, uh, these are some beta features, so Nearby Radar and then Quick Sniper. Now these are both the ones that I was talking about, the two UI features uh, that I'll disable afterwards. Nearby Radar, so um, as you can see, this is the Nearby Radar. This one, this one, yeah, it's just it's just a more accurate version of your radar, right? Like it's not, no big deal. It just is what it is, dude. Next one we have, obviously, is the, is the, feeds, the feeds UI. Super cool, honestly. It's uh, You can just disable it, right? So if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. Quick catch, very very useful. Uh, quick catch, probably one of my favorite features. Oh, that's I block shinies. Wait, uh, I'll go over that feature as well. But essentially, what it allows you to do is uh, you can you don't have to like do the Pokemon trick where you you don't catch like where you where you quick catch manually. It just, the game just does it for you. Super cool. Next, we have uh, skip evolve animation. So when you evolve something, it just uh, it just skips the animation, which is honestly cool. So. Boom, animation skipped. All right, uh, next one we have block non shiny. So essentially, what this does is, um, as you saw earlier, like if it's not a shiny, it just won't, it just won't load. So this is very cool for shundo hunting. Obviously, you just click all, or not shundo hunting, but uh, shiny hunting. You just click all the Pokemon, right? If if they're not, if they're not shiny, you just you just block, and then and then you can just move on. And if you're teleporting, it's just so quick. It's crazy. So this is the ultimate Shundo, like, or this is the ultimate, like, shiny hunting um, piece of technology. So I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find a shiny here, but probably won't find it. And of course, obviously, it'll, it'll say, like, block shiny, and then it says uh, what the IV of that Pokemon is. So if you, if you missed 100 IV, then you can go back and get it. Super cool. Last thing we have is quick load map. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm, I think having it enabled means that whenever you teleport, the map loads a bit faster, which is cool, I guess. So if I go to like the hype spot, I guess the map loads a bit quicker. I'm not sure what that really. I'm not sure what that really is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, okay, actually, yeah, the map load loaded much quicker than normal. So that's probably what it is then. It just makes it load quicker. Anyway, guys, that's the video. I mean, just a quick video, right? February update, 1.11.11. 11. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Obviously, Discord down below. If you have any more questions, we're almost at 8,000 members, so super cool. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, subscribe, like the video, um, comment down below. And of course, uh, you can join as a member if you really want to. Um, I've been very busy this semester, actually. My semester is killing me right now. Um, and that's why, obviously, the lack of videos. But I'll try and make one next week, I think. I hope. Uh, I'll make a video next week and then probably, like, just one per week for now. Um, and then I'll stick on that schedule until it lightens up a bit. And then probably two weeks, two two videos a week um, once I'm, like, in the, like, back into the grind, right? So, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys enjoy the community day for um, the, whatever the community day is. I think it's the Roselia, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, have a good day. And uh, stay safe. Peace out.